Hi, my name is Mrs. Sosa, and I am the West Central Hartford Elementary K through 2 art teacher. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. I am currently in my fifth year of teaching at West Central, but I do have over 10 years of art teaching experience. I started at the uh, Washington Pavilion and then taught at Elk Point Jefferson for a few years. And then my previous employment to West Central was the South Dakota School for the Deaf. So you will notice over on the bulletin board near my wall that there are some signs. American Sign Language is my second language. One of the signs that your child will need to know for the art room is how to ask to use the bathroom. And going to the bathroom in sign language they make the letter T, which is actually for toilet. And that is made by putting your thumb between your first and second finger. It's kind of like the game you played with your grandpa, I got your nose. And then what you do is you wave that. Now, in sign language, they wave it here near their face. But because we're in the art room, and that will be difficult to see, I actually have students wave it way up high in the air to let me know when they need to go to the bathroom. So they do not use their words, they do not use their mouth, they ask using sign language and that will not interrupt the classroom then. Sometimes I'm gonna say yes and I'll point to the door. I will not use my mouth, I'll do it in sign language. And the bathrooms are just right around the corner from the door to the art room. Sometimes though I'm gonna say no or I might say wait. And it's just not a good time right at the moment to use the restroom, but shortly after introducing the lesson or whatever activity we're working on, I'll have the student then go. What I would like you to do is take a few minutes to practice that sign, and we'll practice it some more on that first day of school. I have one more thing I wish to share with you and it's about Artsonia which is our online art gallery and soon you'll be receiving a permission form from my classroom it will go home in their folder your child's folder and it will require you to sign and give me your email address and some contact information and what I'm looking for is permission to upload your child's art and only their art images to Artsonia, which is our online art gallery. Now, this website is very secure, and it does not use any photos or images of the students themselves. It only uploads the child's art images and also does not ever use any last names. So the child's screen name will always be their first name and a number. And that's one way you can find the student within that online gallery. And not only is the online ga gallery a portfolio that we use at the K2 building, but all those images then are transferred to Jo Meyer, who is our art teacher at the Humboldt Elementary. She also uploads images, grades three through five, and then this portfolio follows them to the high school. Now, not only is this an online portfolio for grades K through 12, but this is also a fundraiser for our art program as well, because you can purchase items on the website with your child's art on it, such as coffee cups, t-shirts, postcards, calendars. There's just a multiple items that you can purchase with your child's art. And then 15% of all purchases then come back to our art program, which help fund the purchase of more supplies and items for our classroom. So keep that in mind when you are looking at Artsonia. The great thing about Artsonia is you can also create what's called a fan club. And the fan club allows you to upload family members and friends' email addresses. So then every time I upload a piece of artwork that your child has created, Artsonia will automatically send out an email to anyone who is on your fan club list. So if grandma and grandpa enjoy your child's art but live too far away to view it in person, 
you can add their name to the fan club and they can digitally see their child, your child's art. So keep that in mind as well. If you have any questions ever throughout the year about curriculum or about Artsonia, feel free to give me a call. You can find my information on the school website. You can also contact me through email. And if you do try to call me, just be aware that my hours are normally 8 to 2. I'm only a part-time art teacher. So plan that out. Leave a message if I am not available, and I will get back to you as soon as I can.